Welcome back to Minus 16, the podcast where we talk not only tech, but also the business of YouTube. And uh, it's a momentous day for Alex. We're going to talk a little bit more about that towards the end, but Hello. We, we, can't, we, we can't sit on it forever. We can't sit on it. It's happened, no, hasn't it? It's hey. happened. We hit 100k. Wow. Hey. And <laughs> the best thing is, the best thing is, we, we were messaging one another early on today. So my chair's rolling around all over the shop. Um, the best thing is, we were messaging one another early on today. And, Has it happened? Yeah, and it was on a podcast day. <laughs> and it was like, yes, this is going to happen on a podcast. You were like 30 short. For 10 a, minutes ago. Yeah. Last night, you were about 50 short. And I messaged him this morning saying, is it happened yet? Are you there yet? And like, no, That's still 30 crazy. short. <laughs> so crazy. Go, let's, let's go a little bit ask about face. Hell, it's our podcast. Go on, show show the number. Show it. Show well, it. let's make sure that no one unsub. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad this isn't live, right? Because if it was... See, I deleted the studio app from my phone because I wanted to, uh, to to have a special moment with my son, which which was perfect. I mean, we went for, went out for a lunch, late lunch. To the pub? And, uh, yeah. To yeah. My, my wife and my son came over, the dog. And uh, yeah, we had, a, we had a good time. And it was like, come on. It was like three to go at one point. And it took forever. <laughs> oh, man. I, I Yeah. I just, here you go. A hundred. Woo. I got, I got to zoom in. 100k look at that six numbers hang on i might have to let's re-record this bit because i just showed you all sorts of numbers that i shouldn't show you i will i'll make sure to blur that bit out <laughs> <God damn. laughs> yeah you just showed everything in youtube studio it's because you're yeah. wired and you're buzzing that's what it is i know it's, 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 uh, this is the number right the the, the better sc- oh it's, it's got fireworks i never knew that hey there we go, there you go. big and loud so, i think if i refresh it does it give you the fireworks again I want it to come into focus. No. Oh, yeah, no, there it is. Oh, there we are. There we are. Yep. It's sort of like a one out of 10, but a big version. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> so how oh does it gosh. feel? I mean, it must feel pretty. It feels, it was such a relief. I mean, I was actually quite emotional. I bet, earlier, yeah. Because yeah, I was I, like, you know, everything that, that we go through just kind of came rushing. Like, I didn't know what was going to happen. I just, I was really excited up to, to this point. And I have a feeling that, you know, after this is going to just be. A crash. <laughs> Now what? Yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I've got a video to edit tonight. So I think I'm going to try and stay stay the course, just keep keep doing what I'm doing, right? Because it's clearly working. So uh, Yeah, it's easy yeah. to say, but also knowing how, what work goes into it, you need to cut yourself a bit of slack. And it's going to be hard yeah. to concentrate. You're going to be wired, you're going to be buzzed, and you, you, you should yeah. give yourself a damn big pat on the back. It must yeah, feel yeah. absolutely it's, it's amazing. Been, it's been, yeah, it's been rough. Uh, it, was, it wasn't an easy, easy journey, but it never is, right? But, I think I don't. I don't think I would have it any other way. It's been it's been great. Yeah. Well, it's kind of what you spoke about on the last pod, wasn't it, with this whole buying views and buying subs yeah. and so on. And, you know, you, yes, you can do it that way, but there's no reward to it. And also there's no – you're not building a community. People aren't getting yeah. to know you. Over those almost four years, people have really got to know you. And yeah. that's what makes a difference. And they invest in your channel and they keep coming back for more and more and more. And that's what this whole gig's about, right? It's It's – Letting exactly. You're only kidding your life yourself and, if you're if you're doing it any other way, right? It's just yeah. silly to and and you know again it. retreading old ground. Even when we talked about it last time, there wasn't one single ounce of me. And I know you jumped straight mm. on and said, "Don't do it, mate." But it was there yeah. was one, not a single bone in my body that felt I want to go and get some cheap subs. Yeah, it, it's, it's just yeah, it, it's not worth it, and it, it's just not going to long term. It's not going to help. No. No, so no, good. it's it, it's, I'm it's, just a, so it's a relief in a way because it's like it's the it's the milestone that you know every YouTuber of course wants to reach because right? it's the it's the first the big one. recognition that you get from YouTube itself and it's an arbitrary number when you think about it really because my content is not going to change. No, <laughs> I, my content hasn't changed. You know, from ten thousand. You know, it's just well, I was going to say, mate, you need to freshen up. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I know what you I, mean. I need a better, better, yeah, but. but, but if I was it's in your, just, I mean, I was genuinely happy, not only for you, because obviously, you know, we've got to know one another very well, but also mm. the fact it was happening on a podcast day, we could talk about it and get your reactions live. Oh, it's perfect. Live. Yeah, yeah, honestly, I'm, I'm definitely holding back, like, <laughs> emotions. <laughs> you should it, have had a bottle of champagne there, really, to celebrate, shouldn't you? You really? Well, I have, I have, uh, so one of my, the people who works here now, she, yeah, she gave me a bottle. I, I don't drink anymore, so I don't really... Yeah, but I do feel like just popping it just to kind of just for the excitement. Yeah, uh, yeah. but there's balloons. There's all sorts of stuff. That, oh, um, fantastic! I might do a live stream later. I don't know. It's just I'm all over the place right now, to be honest. But, yeah, um, I think to be honest, trying to edit tonight would not necessarily be the most productive or right way to edit. I think there's a lot no, of going on in your head. And but this, yeah, I've got to do it because it's it's one of those right. It's I haven't done much this month anyway already. It's just been busy and I. Yeah, I've got to do it. It's my wife's birthday on Sunday, so I want to make sure that I've got time 
to spend with her as well. So yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll I'll be happy, right? I'm always happy when I'm editing. It's just, um, I'll be extra happy today. Well, should we get into the meat and veg of the, of the pod then? Um, you put yes. up a video about the Sony Xperia, which I watched and commented on and said I, I did, like yeah. the look of that. Now, I've never used a Sony. Um, I've always had this impression they're very much kind of the photographer's camera. Mm. Would that be a yeah. good take on it? Yeah. Sorry, photographer's it, it was, phone, not camera, <laughs> photographer's phone. Yeah, yeah no, I, I think I mentioned that as well. I, th- I, I heard that said before, but it's, you know, it's like one of those things, until you test it yourself, until you hold you know, it was so, I've got to say thanks to, to Lee, who's one of my viewers who, who actually let me have the phone for, for my, like you did as well with your flip, which by the way, is still, still here. It's still there. <laughs> um, I haven't sold it on eBay <laughs> yet. yet. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, he's, he sent it to me because I've been saying, you know, oh, that looks great. You know, and, it's, and he's been banging on about this thing. Every comment is like, we should try this the Xperia. Uh, but you know, it's one of the things it's, it, you don't know if it's going to work and you know i've got very limited time like we all do right on mm. things so you to, to kind of deviate a little bit mm. can sometimes feel like you know it's, it's a lot of effort and i know it's not going to do much but i'm so glad i tried it you know he let me he let me have it for like a month it was awesome and mm. um you're right you know when i, when I started looking at it uh, the thing that hit me first was the quality of the of that sensor it is very much um a photographer i mean Especially if you shoot Sony, mm, um, mm. all the menus, menus you said the were the feel, same. Tonight, yeah, it's got a physical shutter button as well, which is such a such oh, a like. Ha, what? How tactile that, must that be? Yeah. yeah, it's great, and it's got like a, a half press as well to focus, exactly like a professional camera. And it's just yeah, it's just everything about the camera aspect is great. Mm. I, I have to say, I'm not a f- big fan of the um, you know the, the the Android skin that they've got in there. It's just you know pretty much stock Android. We've got their Sony add-ons in there, which is very easy to ignore or just just completely not download it when you, when you're setting it up. Um, but you know, it's it's the previous version of Snapdragon. You know, the display is amazing, but you know, you do notice a little bit of a lag in certain things. You know, it's just maybe it's because I've been spoiled, right, with the iPhone and the S24 Ultra, which have you know at the moment you know the most performance chips. So yeah. it's kind of you do notice a little bit of a downgrade there, but the camera was just incredible. I mean, I, I want to say standard 4K video in decent lighting, there's nothing better. It have was you better used than it, the iPhone. Have you used it as a cutaway camera in your main videos? Because you shoot Sony, don't you, of course? Yep. So you can What's use the it color as a monitor. Like? Is, it, is it similar? It's brilliant. Yeah. The color, because the display, uh, I think it's an OLED display. It's just, yeah, it's fantastic. I mean, mm. outside in, in bright sunlight, you can use it attached to the top of the camera like you would like a like a monitor so it works brilliantly for professionals who who want to have it like i said as a, either as a backup phone mm. or as a backup camera i should say and it, yeah it's just it's just brilliant the battery is great um it does have an amazing i mean it's not that you know you know like dax and people like audio files right they buy dax to, to attach to their phones yeah, yeah, yeah. to get the best possible bit rate on their on their music it has a built-in DAC. Oh wow! Uh, so, so it's a but really it's not the same. professional phone. Yeah, so I, I don't think you can compare it with a proper physical DAC, but it's much better than just what we've not got what normally, to. right? And it's got a headphone jack as well, so you can listen to proper. I mean, this is a two fifty ohms headphone, which so takes powers, some driving. Yeah, yeah. So it powers this. Awesome. So I installed Tidal. You know, download the highest quality. I mean, I'm not. It's a cliche thing, right, for YouTubers. So I'm not an audiophile. I love music. So I think if you look at the definition, everyone's an audiophile, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's levels in, you know, I, I would say I, I'm not one of those that goes spends thousands on, on hi-fi no, same, gear. Same, But you do notice, and I do appreciate, you know, that, that higher the higher quality sound is mm. yeah, it's brilliant. Is it the yeah. same sort of price as the iPhones or Samsung's? Uh, and that was my main point about this video. It's more expensive, I think. At, at launch, it was over here in the UK, twelve ninety nine. So it's a bit fifty quid more, mm-hmm. spent a bit more money. Um, it's gone. It's come down now quite a bit. Um, you can get it for under a thousand now. It's it, you know, but at launch they are asking for a lot, and I, and I think that's. I don't know if Sony are on purpose doing this because they they probably can't manufacture enough of them. Um, because, you know, if you look at how they distribute the phone, they don't really, they don't have a presence 
worldwide. You know, so there's mm. people in Brazil, for example, who watch my channel and they go, "Yeah, that's, that's great, Alex, but we can't we get can't it get here." It. And and I know that's true for a lot of countries as well. Mm. Um, so maybe Sony wants to keep it as a niche, like you know, some sort of specialist phone uh, for now. But I'd say there's not much that they would they need to change to make it competitive. Uh, to, Competitive, competitive with, with you know, him. yeah. So, so if they reduced the price a little bit and made it available, mm. you know, mm. the form factor is, is the thing for me. You know, I, it, I'm I love that narrower uh, form factor because you know I use the fold, not to compare the both of them mm. because they are completely separate form factors. But that before you unfold it, you know, it's a very narrow screen, and I know it's like Marmite. Mm. I'm yeah, I'm a fan of that. Probably yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's great. No, I mean, look, the content as well is great. Looking at the form factor of it, it did look a glorious looking handset. Out of the Androids I've seen, it looks. Oh, yeah. I'd go for it indefinitely. It looked. I think there are the, the six is being announced. If not, I saw something come out yesterday. Actually, mm. fully enough, about a new announcement. So I'm I'm hoping that I'm, I'll be able to get the six this year and and just. Isn't it so yeah. strange that they've never made a major play for it? I mean, they're they're so good at what they do. If they decided yeah. to make a major play for the phone market, they, there's, there's definitely enough power users out there and high-end mm -hmm. users out there that would go for it, right? Yeah. Yeah. I remember when they were under the brand Sony Ericsson, right? This yes. is before God, yeah, iPhones. Yeah. And I remember buying those. I mean, I think the first camera phone I had, and and it had a little joystick in the middle, was was a Sony Ericsson. I don't, I don't remember the model. No, take me back now, yeah. That was 2003, maybe 2004. Yeah, it was great. Um, and then obviously the iPhones came out and, you know, washed everything out. But yeah. So I you don't know to... what happened since then, you know, the kind of stuff is yeah. now, kind of, they Fun... went into this specialist. Funny market. enough, the only time I really heard of them was because they were one of the title sponsors of the Bond franchise. And any time a Bond movie came out, their phones were all over the Bond movies, weren't That's they? Right, yeah. yeah. Which again and, shows and the, the laptops, kind of yeah. where they want to be. They, you know, they're that kind of niche, they're high end products. Yeah. The, yeah, I'm, I'm just surprised. I don't, they must have their reasons for not doing it. But you would have thought it's an absolute gift. Are you still using oh, it now? Have you, have you sent it? Had to send no, it back? no, I've, yeah, I've, I've had it for a month, uh, about four, five, six weeks maybe. Yeah, it was awesome, awesome experience. Um, yeah, I'm sold on it and, and I kind of knew. He's the same guy who, who let me have the Garmin and, and now I've got like garments coming out of my ear. Like, <laughs> um, yeah, he, he's one of those tech people yeah. who loves their gadgets and, and um, he's right, you know, I've, I tried the Garmin and like, okay, it's sold. And and I'm I'm feeling about the same with, with the Xperia. And I know you, you with your channel, you kind of branch out away from being, you're not a purely Apple channel, you are more widespread tech. I mean, I've made a decision to go fully down the Apple route, which I'm happy about. But mm. at the moment, there is sweet FA to talk about. <laughs> I am struggling to find content. <laughs> you iPads, know. iPads, right? In a couple of weeks or uh, something. A month. That's going to yeah, be. But a month. Yeah. It's, it's, it's May 6th. I've still got a month to try and pedal out. And I was sitting here this morning thinking, oh, oh Jesus. No. I did two videos about <laughs> iPads thinking this is it. Yeah. And I, come on, I had to completely change my content. And it's... In a way, it was fine, right? Well, I mean, I mean it's, it's slightly better it was because it was talk and I could almost see it happening. I thought, well, maybe mm. they'll wait now until WWDC. It's, it's that near and it, luckily we are, it seems, May 6th. But equally, it's only, what, the 12th of April now. I've got a month yeah. <laughs> to, to pedal out. Five weeks, on, with, the weeks with the MacBook Air. May the 4th, Six weeks with the MacBook Air. Yeah, that's a long time. <laughs> it is, yeah. yeah. I wonder if they, they would use the May the 4th as, as, the, as the launch date. Could be a hook, be couldn't cool. it? Yeah. I don't know if that... Depends on when he falls, right? But, and, um, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, still yeah getting, I'm excited for it. Yeah, that I'm waiting for clearly. And then WWDC on the back of that will give me some content to talk about because we'll know what's coming in iOS 18. It's just that little period now that we're in. And I was watching a couple of other very Apple-focused uh, channels and they were saying mm. exactly the same thing. You know, there is nothing out there. There's no crumbs. And and until recently, the uh, Newsroom website had been busy, but there's been nothing on there this week. Yeah, right I through think pairs. that's... I mean, I think that's a good thing about the um, WWDC being close to the iPad launch because, in fact, in my script, getting ready for for the for the iPad, thinking it was going to be now in April, um, I actually was about to say that. So, you know, I, I would wait for WWDC so that you can really see what iPad OS 18 will bring. Mm -hmm. Because if it's just a more powerful iPad, right, with a better chip, a different screen, you could argue... You know, I get it. The only reason I'd say I'll I'll be excited about it is iPad OS 18 and see you know what and what that can do. Mm. And I'm hoping that 
Well, as you know, I'm a newbie. I mean, I'm actually genuinely excited because I've never tried an iPad Pro. So, mm. and I've I put so much content up about I, shorts and long. Are form. you getting the Pro? Or yeah, just the regular, yeah, yeah, I'll get a Pro, and I'm. Yeah. I, 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 it's great. A lot of the people on my channel are getting involved in sort of making suggestions which way to go, and it's really torn between the five twelves and eight gig and the one terabyte and sixteen, mm. and. Uh, I, and I, I was speaking to Hartley at Matt Rooms this week as well, and he was saying, well, I think probably the higher end is going to suit you better longer. I don't know. It, they, as you know, they charge you a lot for that extra bit of yeah, memory. Yeah, I wouldn't. Yeah, my recommendation, I fell for that, right? I, I bought the 16 gig, one terabyte iPad, the M1 iPad Pro. Awesome device. You know, don't regret it. But I could have gone for for a lower spec mm. because, you know, I never, I never really took advantage of that extra memory. It was my mistake because, you know, you shouldn't buy things on the promise of what's maybe going, yeah. it would. But yeah, nothing came out that would take advantage of that. And even now, I still think, you know, a gig is, is more. Yeah, I mean, I suppose there's only really LumaFusion, Logic and, and Final Cut that come anywhere near to pushing it. Yeah, but we're not, really, but we're not going to be in that. I mean, I, I know there's a couple of years who so, said, right, this is my workflow and this is why I need that 16 gig mm. RAM. And, and I can see, okay, why well, are you doing uh, 3D modeling so mm. like they use something called like nomad sculpt which is a very intensive app but you know even when i was testing that because I, I had to learn and see how it was only using like 400 meg yeah it's next to nothing uh, but it's when you're doing multiple layers and you're adding more, more things like procreate for instance you know you can have like 100 you layers load, in 4k yeah. and it's still not not hit 8 gig so it's but, but you as, really need to, to be doing a lot from an artist's perspective to use that much memory. I mean, as you just said, though, it's, it, this is the weird way around because we're that near to WWDC. So if I was to make the decision to buy, say, 512 and only 8 gig, and mm. then suddenly two weeks down the line, they announce we've got all these new features coming in iOS 18 that's going to unlock the future of the iPad. I'm going to think, oh, damn. It, it's, so it's almost they've got you by the, the shorts, haven't they? Because you're going to think, well, they're bound to announce something in iOS 18. They're bound to. So I'll, I'll buy it just in case. Yeah. I've, I've, I've been hurt so many times, so I can't, <laughs> I can't recommend it. But, yeah, I, I, I think it's the safest thing to do. But I don't know. It's I, Apple. And, I, and I'm like, okay, the, you know, I'll believe it when I say if If it turns out that, okay, more memory will actually happen, this will, will actually help this time, then fine. But, and I am going to go all in. I'm getting the new Magic case, or Magic Pro oh, yeah. case, and pencil. I'm oh, going to go I'm, full yeah. in. I'm and more excited that. about that than, than anything else. I actually bought the the, the Samsung's uh, keyboard just to, because I've I've hated the idea of it, and I still don't like how flimsy it is and whatever. But so that's the I just official. Want to, yeah, that's the official book. I think they call the book keyboard cover or something. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's not like the the Magic keyboard. By, I mean, it's just. You know, it flops about. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> I saw you post a picture, I think, on Twitter, didn't I, with that and the S24 sort of saying it's the perfect power couple or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, and it, it's, yeah. I mean, I, I've had the Tab S8 Ultra since launch, have this since launch. I'm kind of trying to just, you know, try to use it as a, as a tablet most, more than anything. Because recently my job changed. Mm -hmm. And I'm now using it more. Um, but yeah, for about three to four, for the first three, four months, I wasn't actually using it a lot. It was just maybe to watch Netflix and whatever. And oh, oh, yeah, the, 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 this 16 by 10, I think is the aspect ratio here. There's nothing better really for, for watching things like Netflix or a movie. It's brilliant for that. So I know with your other job, you have to go to London on occasion. Do you take a laptop with you or just a tablet now? Most days, actually, either the iPad, uh, if I'm going to, uh, or Southampton, sometimes I have to travel there. Um, the iPad, I like it because I, I, I sold the M1, uh, what was it, 12.9 inch and, and kept the 12, sorry, the 11 inch mm -hmm. uh, M2. So I use that if I'm just doing notes and, you know, scribbling. Um, but if I'm actually going to do work that requires me to do designs, do, I'm, a, I'm an architect in IT, so I do lots of drawings. Then I use the, um, then I take the tab. Um, yeah, it just depends on, on what I'm doing really. Here in the office, when I'm busy, nine to five, busy working in meetings and whatever, it lives on a stand on a, on a different setup there, just, just here on the side and I'm mm. always taking notes and, and using like multitasking. You know, my video will show all of that this weekend. Actually. Oh, what's your video going to be if about? I, it is the tablet S9 Ultra, right, yeah. yeah. It's been uh, long overdue. I didn't do an unboxing. I didn't do anything. 
happen to now. So. Mm. And uh, two weeks since the last pod, and that's another two weeks of me using Final Cut exclusively. How, how's it going? Love I, it. I haven't looked. Yes and no. Right. I find it more buggy than Premiere. Really? Yeah, I oh. find it it freezes more, and Shock I have horror. moments where kind of the audio will just stop for no reason at all, and I have to reboot it, and then it's fine. But on the whole, oh, I'm, I'm okay. enjoying. Uh, I mean, doesn't, I have that doesn't sound right. Yeah. I have got it rendering in the background. I know you took that off, so I have got oh, that yeah, three second render, yeah. which yeah. could I know that's making it more intensive. I turn it off. Yeah, um, but overall. Uh, certainly the switch to using motion VFX plugins has been one of the best switches I've ever made. They are yeah. brilliant. Um, yeah. yeah, it's quick. I've got the scrolling timeline now, which I'm, I didn't switch on until this week. And the, the main thing is I didn't that actually, helps, yeah. I didn't lose as much time switching as I thought. I, I hadn't given myself credit for how much mm. transferred basic video editing knowledge would one to oh, next. Oh yeah, no, it's, um, yeah, it, it does make a difference just to, it, it's not completely transferable. No. But if, you, if you've edited with any software, even um, I've tried, what was the other one? Da Vinci. That's kind of a, yeah, Da Vinci. I've tried that for a while as well. It's not that dissimilar. I think there's an easier transition from Premiere to Da Vinci, to be honest. But yeah. It, uh, now, I'm like not going to make this a complete a personal podcast just for myself, but something I found yesterday. So for my cutaway camera, only having your old Canon, I'm using now I've switched to shooting in log on the iPhone to try and get a better profile. And when I took the log footage into uh, Final Cut, it immediately colored it up into Rec 709. Yeah. What's yeah, going on there? That. Yeah. So on the right hand side, if you go to the uh, to default settings, yeah. Um, I'll show you later. But okay. basically, there's a setting there that you can either turn it off so that you, you see it completely untouched. Yep. But by default, there's something called, I think it's called Apple Log or something. Yeah. It's ticked. And it's, you know, if you bring okay. a, an iPhone that's with the what, footage, it will automatically That's what it. I was looking for. Because what I was going to do was color it with the black magic LUT. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I could, it was already done. I, I've been looking and looking. I knew Which that is it, not bad, right? That, that that profile is not bad and it, it's, oh, it's fine. Compared to last week. be creative. Yeah. Then, well, it's just uh, trying to get it as near as possible to my Canon. Mm. And uh, oh, there's a, yeah, you can actually apply the Canon LUT to yeah. it. Yeah, so you can go to Canon's website yeah. and download their Even profiles. for this one? Even for the 90? Well, you can apply to any log. Oh, yeah, right, okay. Log footage, yeah. Yeah, of course, because, sorry, it's the iPhone footage. I'm gonna, so, because the previous week I shot on just regular 4K24 on the iPhone, and it mm. was so much more yeah. orange and just intense and smooth. So I thought, okay, well, I've got the hard drive sitting there. I've got the phone sitting there just recording log. Mm. And yeah. I, I knew, obviously, it was doing something, and I couldn't, I'll get you to show me. What, but on the whole... The main thing is I'm actually really enjoying having a comparison and change looking between the two and I bought two mm. lots of motion VFX and I'm enjoying it. I'm having fun with oh, it. Oh, yeah, motion VFX. Uh, I'll give you a contact as well to um, reach out to because, you know, if you mention them in your videos and, you you know, you can join their affiliate or whatever, they might give you a few. Oh, nice. Um, that's, that's how I got, I got some. I mean, I purchased thousands worth of it, but they, they send me a lot as well. Yeah, well, of course, I'm already counting the cost because I'm using the 90-day free trial yeah. which ends soon enough. Yeah, and it's then good. it's 300 quid to buy and I've just spent 200 quid on plugins yeah. and it's like... It's, it's, I just signed there. They came up, which I'm not... I hate when companies do this. With, you know, they do like subscription models. Um, but one of the features that I use in every intro now, which is probably a rod from my own back, right? It's like getting text behind me and whatever. Oh, the Roto thing. Yeah, so you can do that manually, but it's so easy to do it with motion effects. I just kind of... I purchased that. Every time I've used them, I think I bought Kinetic 2 for the titles because oh, yeah. I yeah, use a lot of titles. Yeah, yeah, I know you've used it. I've recognized it. I've seen it. Um, and the other one was uh, uh, Interview or something like that or Product. M, M Interview, yeah. It's, it's yeah. Tutorial. To, that's it, M Tutorial. Yeah. Because of the kind of videos and style I make, those two seem to get me going. It's got a nice soft zoom on it. And, yeah. um, I and use yeah. Marquesas a lot. A lot of the... MKB, I think it's just called yeah, MKB. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's, 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 that's a good one. And um, just I Justine's one as well. I it's saw she had one, yeah. M, M Keynote. Yep. Yeah, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Um, and also the exports are quicker. That much I have noticed. And the color on the export is What's more consistent. What's your chip on your Mac? Uh, M1 Max. M1 Max. So same, as, same as mine. Yeah, so my I, main... I'll definitely turn off the, the pre-rendering though. Because I think unless you've got M2 or M3 with with 
with pre-rendering, yeah, M1 Max is getting on a bit. So I yeah. think turn that off so, so you don't get any stutters. Or That could be it. And I know you mentioned that before. I, mean, I, was, mm. I was writing today about Max, as I often do, and I realized, geez, my MacBook Air is three years old. This, this, I think next month. I need. I'm. I'm I've re- refreshing. had it some time. I swear to the asset, to be honest. But it, I don't actually need it. It's no. I'm, I mean, <laughs> what fine. I want to try doing. I don't. Know it's going to. Well, I've got the. The other thing I like about motion VFX is how easy they are to install. Once you've bought them and downloaded them from your account, you just mm. fire up Final Cut and they're yeah. there. Whereas with Premiere, you have to do a fair bit of manually inputting, da 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 da. Mm. Um, actually, another thing I'll, talk, I'll tap you up for is I need to get some good call to action buttons and logos. I'm struggling where I've been looking, so I'll find out where you'll get yours from. But other than that, no, I'm actually enjoying it. And I'm glad I've got a reference point, if nothing else. Now, I've tried something other than Premiere. Yeah. And yeah, it's, I think it's friendlier. It's definitely, yeah, to, it's, to work on. It's yeah. definitely friendly. I, I get that. And I've got past the where I used to work in bins. Now it's all to do with sort of a libraries and events. I've kind of got used mm. to that. My file management's always been pretty good anyway. Um, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, I'm having fun with it. It's a learning it. curve, but it's not, it's not that steep, right? No, yeah. no, it's not. Yeah. Um, so, I guess now's a good point as any then to sort of switch over to talking the tubes. There's been a fair bit going on on Twitter this week, which yeah, we'll get to gosh, in just yeah. a minute. But first so, of all, let's get back to your story. If if you were sitting there now, the Alex of four years ago, talking to a creator just about to start, <laughs> what's, what, sort of, what would be the main bits of advice you'd give to them on those days when you think nothing's working and it's not worth it and not oh subscribing gosh, or watching? Yeah. There's plenty um, of those days, aren't there? That's plenty, yeah. I think, um, I think you know, initially it's just kind of try, try to get as good as you can very quickly uh, with with the craft. I think, you know, reflecting back, um, I did a little bit of that, but maybe I, I did too much of that sometimes. It's kind of trying too hard to kind of impress the wrong people. I think focus on the audience as quickly as you can. So mm-hmm. sure, for the first 100 videos, which sounds crazy, if you haven't done a single one, it sounds crazy, and it is, to do 100 videos. Uh, and I've heard this before, some of this, YouTube guru saying, right? Um, but it's true. Whether 100 is the exact number or not, it doesn't matter. I think you just got to get it something. It takes about that long for you to get good at the craft and understand, you know, YouTube and 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 do it by yourself, right? Don't don't too soon. Don't give it away. Um, that because understanding the end to end process mm-hmm. is like any any business, right? When you understand every single bit of the process, it's easier than to delegate and whatever. But up until that point, you know, become a you know, uh, 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 well, I think Marquez had a good uh, analogy for this. Oh, is that whole like octopus a, thing, wasn't the it? The octopus, right? Yeah, be the marketing, be the the person going out and trying to get new businesses to come in as the sponsors. Uh, be the editor, be the writer. Do, do everything yourself for a while to learn every single bit, and then start, you know, giving away some of those. Yeah, yeah. Functions. I mean, I was I was born into a self employed family. My dad was self employed from the day mm. one. He said, if you're going to have your own company, you need to be able to do everything in that company. And the same is very much mm. true with YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that would be a great advice because I tried re- very quickly tried to delegate things and didn't work. So I spent a lot of time kind of bringing back in. Um, I also tried very hard like i said when i said impress the wrong people i mean you would watch a a creator and be inspired by it and i think that's totally fine and i still find that today but then trying too hard to kind of say look what i've done right on twitter or whatever and that's not the people watching your videos so Mm. it's kind of yeah i took too long to realize that so now it's more about if i want to you know impress somebody it has to be my audience and it Mm. would be to them, then I'll, sh- I'll use the community tab instead of Twitter to, to do those things. Um, so yeah, Twitter is, is a bit different. It's more about being part of the tech community and kind of, and mm-hmm. we'll talk about the we hot will. water issue. Yep, 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 yep. Um, but yeah, I think that'll be my advice to myself four years ago. So like, don't, don't mix the two. There's an audience here, which are people that are like your peers and people that you aspire to and whatever, but there's your viewers. Mm. They're very different. Some, some, there will some, there'll be some overlap, right? But my four thousand followers on Twitter, I guarantee, even my tweets, they, they, they don't see them all, right? So mm. it's, it's, a, it's a big ask to say, um, and and you do, right? You feel upset that when you upload a video at the beginning, it's like fifty views or whatever. It's like, where are all my followers? You know, I shared it on Twitter, I did this, and they're not coming to watch. That's because they're not interested 
in your shit. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. They're not investing viewers, in viewers. The people on YouTube, you need to care for those, build on those, yeah. answer every single comment. Even now, I feel bad when I don't. I look at my videos and it's like, oh my god, there's 20, 30 comments that I haven't responded to. Those things do matter, and so, you know, especially when you're growing. Mm. Um, yeah, so I'd say do do a lot, do a lot of that, and. And, and, and I, it, to be fair to me, I think I did do that a lot. I still do. Yeah, absolutely. It's um, what keeps it personal as well. And, you know, when I sit down and watch your videos or one of Daniel's videos or something, one of Patrick's, mm -hmm. you, I can tell that you've edited it because it's got, I couldn't edit, a, even if you sent me all the files and all the same B-roll, it would look mm -hmm. different. It just would. Yeah. I wouldn't cut it at the same places. I wouldn't have the same type. It's yeah. just a flow that you've got. You've got a taste. And that's what yeah. people come back for. It's a familiarity. Sometimes... Mm. I sort of beat myself up. Oh, it's a little bit samey, but I realise, in actual fact, that's probably a good thing because yeah. people like what mm. you do. I've just realised I've got my battery in the Canon, not the elect, not the power, but brick. Oh, my oh. Oh, So man. I don't know where we're at with this. <laughs> I just realised that if you go black, uh, we're probably going to get uh, just the audio, which is fine, right? Then you just switch switch will, batteries. Or... Yeah, I will just switch the log off. I've just realised as we're talking. Yeah. I don't know how long I'm going to get. It might Not do well. Yeah, it might do well. Because I think on the batteries, half an hour though. Yeah. yeah. We, might, we might lose you for a bit. Well, I think this is We'll we just do a, a quick two-parter. Yeah. Novice mistake. Here's me talking about the experience I've gained and I forgot to put the right battery in. <laughs> Perfect oh, timing. Yeah, yeah. But no, it's very true that you get to know what are your mm. styles and your techniques and so on. Yeah. yeah. So. Um, and I think the other thing is, is for me... Um, Maybe not four years ago, but when I got to maybe, I don't know, 10,000, I think from that point on to not be too quick to accept uh, brand deals, um, mm -hmm. you know, to kind of focus sometimes because, you know, if you've got a clear idea of where you're going and what sort of content you want to do, it, it might be worth not worrying about sponsors for a while if mm. you can, mm. uh, because I spend so much time even... Even up, up until now, I still spend a lot of time just answering emails and, and investing a lot of time on on deals that are, you know, I'm thinking of the money rather than what it means the for content, the channel. Yeah. But sometimes it's better to, you know what, I'm just going to upload a video, do the best I can in that video and and invest in that to open up the doors. Mm. And, and I'd say, yeah, going back maybe three years, I'd say do more of that because I've proved that it works. You know, sometimes you, you might even do like a freebie. It doesn't matter, you know, no one sends you anything. You just buy the thing yourself, make the video, do a good job at it, and then use that as a showcase to mm. say, I've this done what this. what I can do. Do you like, and you know, it doesn't work all the time. I still get ghosted by a lot of brands even now, but um, Garmin uh, is, is a good example where I did maybe three comparisons and I kept emailing them, I kept sharing them, tagging them on, on socials, hey, look what I've done, look what I've done, nothing. But one day, they responded. And this was two, three months, uh, December last year. Mm. So like just before 90K. So I said, okay, well, you know, we'll send you some stuff, what, what would you like? So it's kind of, it's different. So again, it's not paid, it's not anything, but it opened a door because I built that mini library of content to show them, like, here's what I've done. And, and it's, my viewers enjoyed it. It's strange. It, uh, there is definitely a difference. This week, um, I didn't actually get to talk to you about it, but uh, a, a company got out and touched me about two weeks ago. I still mm. did some background checks. It was a, a, an agency. And then I got onto our WhatsApp group this week and said, guys, mm. this lot have just got back to me. Are they kosher? And everybody said, yeah, they're, I'll tell you later who they are. Yeah, they're good. They they pay quickly. They're safe. They're good to oh, deal nice. with. And awesome. you'll, you'll probably know. It's I had to record three videos for them, 20 seconds long, just with a different hook. That's all they wanted. They had the captions. Jobs are good. Um, but I was actually quite scared about coming in to do that today because, of course, it's a skill that I haven't developed. Talking, just doing straight. And it's a product, you know, that I don't know intimately. And I had to come on and just, they gave you the script. It was just a new skill set. So even though I'm used to sitting in front of a camera and talking, mm. it was just something new. It's weird. I, I could feel myself last night thinking, oh, shit, I don't really know what to yeah. do. Yeah, it's, it's, it's bizarre when that happens. And yeah. It, it's it's good to kind of not rush those things either, right? To maybe to, to actually use and test, and um, because it will come across otherwise, right? But um, yeah, no, it's exciting though, right? Because it, it is, especially if if it aligns with the channel and it's not like, I mean, it's hard to, to say because you know I, everyone has different 
uh, objectives and different preferences. But yeah, we all get approached by those neck massagers and yeah, vacuum cleaners. Oh, the, yeah, I just don't know. It's, the I would find it really hard to do those. Oh, the, the, I had so, some, one company that sent me three or four emails, and it was for merchandise like pins and badges i thought you know you get that same email we've watched your content and I, well, you clearly haven't <laughs> how's that how could i possibly talk yeah. to a and that's what badge? i mean about you know we invest so much time in considering those things and, mm. and sometimes it, well in my case nine times out of ten it detracts me from what i'm doing to go right maybe i should create a video about this and now i can see how this would work so you kind of start thinking like imagining this deal working just by doing that you derailed you know a, a a few moments of your but yeah concentration of your day, of flow, you yeah, could yeah. you could have you could have otherwise created a video about something else that you were actually focused on exactly yeah, that, I, yeah. think I would do less of that if i if i could go back and go right actually alex looking at this tiny brand that will pay you a few hundred quid you know mm. it's just not worth mm. it um do a do a, do a better video about something completely that your audience wants it, to watch yeah exactly. even if there isn't a sponsor because that probably will later Earn you over the gates. Yeah, I mean, I've certainly noticed the difference of learning your craft and becoming, because again, early on, I think we're all slightly guilty of Mm. having watched it, creators that we like and probably using a little bit too much of their style. You need to find your own voice. You need to find you. Sure, take cues from other people, Mm. but you need to be you. And that takes a lot of doing, doesn't it? Relaxing in front of this camera thing is not easy. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a, yeah, that takes a lot of time. I think one of my first videos was, and, and that's the irony, right? Going back and watching that video the other day, I was like, "Oh my gosh, what am I talking?" Is that about? the trainer one, the football boot? Or... No, well, that, that's that, that's cringe as well because there was nothing to do with tech. But yeah, it was one about uh, telep- using a teleprompter, and I'm telling people how to f- be confident in front of the camera. I was like, <laughs> at that time, I, thought I wasn't. I was, I was pretty relaxed, but watching it now, I'm like, "Oh my god!" I was so tense up and yeah. so like robotic. Uh, it's funny though. It's I think it's important to go through those, and I know some people delete those old videos. I, 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 I like to go back and say, "Oh gosh, yeah, we did come a long way." <laughs> I still, yeah. I still think there's more to, to come, but yeah, yeah, I, yeah, it's clearly. good to kind of see no, I mean, the progress. Oh yeah, I mean, same as when I go back and see those early. Well, I was sitting there, wooden as thinking I was being very relaxed and calm, and just realise, and that's where it's important because without mm. being egotistical, it's also important that we do pat ourselves on the back every now and again, because it is yeah. a weird existence. We spend a lot of time alone with, and yesterday I was really pissed off myself, a video that I put up yesterday and right, I watched it once again about 1am this morning and it was a typo and I never let typo. And I just, and I watched it as you know, probably 20, 30 times yesterday. And it's not even a small six point. It's a big chuffing 800 point heading. You know, yeah. you can't, <laughs> I'm not going to say where it is because I'm going to leave that as the elephant in the room. But, it, but again, because you've got no one to palm it off to, to check your work, to, you know, it's all us. Uh, it's a weird existence, but I'm, I am like you loving it. it it's, yes. it's a really creative place to be in. You, you come across some great people, make great friends and learn yeah. so much as well. Yeah. I mean, like, like many industries like this, there's mostly, you know, there's good days and bad days, but I think, when you look at everything else, I mean, I haven't worked in every industry, but I've worked in quite a few different ones, like retail, the utilities. Um, and there's issues in all of those. Mm-hmm. But I think when it comes to content creation, there's something different about, about doing that because, you know, just the fact that we can collaborate with other creators, uh, you know, it's, it's, there's a lot, a lot of sharing and a lot of growing together. And I think that's, there's something quite cool about that. And I, yeah, and we- I, I hope I can make this work and make this, uh, a viable business at the moment mm. it's kind of getting there mm. but um yeah it's uh, yeah I hope, I hope we can continue to, to um, do um, that. without exception every single creator i've ever reached out to it's always been really stellar you, there's no keeping information from you even yeah. you know we'll ask about this brand everybody just immediately jumped and said yeah they're safe mate you're good to go honestly you know things like that it's, there's no holding back there's no backstabbing and trying to trick yeah. you out or see you fall. everyone wants you to succeed because there's a big enough cake out there for us that we oh, can yeah. all yeah. succeed definitely yeah you know yeah. we've all got our own voices our own audiences and it's just down to you then to make it the best you can make it right exactly it's, it's exciting right because we, we all have different ways of doing things and and whatever and eventually you're going to build your own sort of you know, kind of your own trajectory and it's it's just cool to mm. yeah to, to see that and you know, I, I get so happy when i see other creators like doing well as well because it's like you know when you got to 5k i was like oh my gosh you know i can't think of anyone more deserving either because he worked so bloody hard you know and it's it's good and 
yeah. clearly you found your, your groove and yeah. And I, and I can see like when the iPad comes out and you start doing videos about that, the fact that you haven't used one before, there's so many good things that I I can almost guarantee right? you, you will get to that 10K and then it's just from there on. It's yeah, just, and, you know, I, I, that's why I said to you, I was really interested in what it felt like for you getting to that 100 because every step along the way, whether it's 5, 10, 25, 50, 100, they all, mm. we've all put in those steps to get there and they all feel good in their own way. I mean, yeah. 100, I'm sure I will, you know, if I ever get to 100, I will feel, you know, I'll be in your position saying to you, hey, you know, yeah. done it. But then it's always on to the next thing. I want to get a bit better. I want to do something else. And Yeah, no, exactly. I'm already, I mean, the last few weeks really, you know, I've, um, I'm thinking something has to, to change. I think I did a, a sub stack about this as well because, you know, it, it gets to a point where it's not sustainable. Like when you grow to a point where you want to take it further, you've got to change something, right? Mm. It's, um, I always learned that in business, right? So what, what, get, what got you here Isn't, won't get you. What's, you know, what's going to get you there, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So I think there's, you always need to keep improving. And, and um, there's so many creators who say this, right? So improve with every video as much as you can, you know, optimize, make something different. So yeah, um, having, having a manager has been, I mean, she's only three days a week and she's been six weeks now. <clears throat> it's been already, yeah, amazing. Uh, learning loads as well from other people, you know, mm -hmm. always, and applying things that, that we all learn, all, all learn in business, right? It's like mm. hire, hire people who are smarter than you and Good you know, at the bits you're bad you at, yeah. Learn from. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, exciting. So, when we were talking about uh, the show notes and talking about what we we're going to chat over this week, you said to me, you might want to check out what's been going on with Dbrand. Yeah, and that's wow. a shame. That's a shame that they happened. I, yeah, a bit of background, right? They, I think there was, if you don't know Dbrand, right? they're, they're very, they're, as an accessories uh, brand, they do phone not just phone, but it's like PlayStations, yeah, uh, MacBooks skins and, and yeah. MacBooks, basically skins and cases full for things. And they've always been the part of their culture, really, their branding is quite rude to, to people online. You know, it's a lot of the times it's funny and you kind of see what they're, what they're doing with the staying on brand and doing that. But this week they crossed the line and big time. Um, and you, you know, you can, it's very hard to, to kind of blame an entire entire brand right there's hundreds of people that work there probably uh because one person said something on twitter so it's, you can't i don't think kind of associate you know the whole brand with that one issue mm. but at the same time um and i was reflecting on this the other day thinking you know it up to a point you it's, it's exciting to be in a startup mode and you kind of doing things your own way and you're being different which is what they've been doing mm. but they clearly grown right they they've They've got they're liners, huge, yeah. they, they're, they're investing. I mean, just in advertising alone, you can imagine, right? They're, they're working with Marquez. Well, they're and, a channel sponsor or have been a channel sponsor. Yeah. Did you see his tweet? Yeah, eventually. Uh, we'll talk oh. about that in a minute because that's good and bad about that as well. But I, I thought, yeah, they, they took too long to recognize the issue. Right? I think on the first day, they were like, no, we're not deleting it. <laughs> It's who we are. Yeah. And, we're and not, even the thread was like, oh my gosh, this guy, this poor young man was getting. Yeah. So we won't much repeat abuse. it here, but basically they took the mick out of somebody's name. Yeah. And you read it and it's the most crass. I mean, A, I can't believe that would fall on one person's shoulders. They've got a marketing team. How many levels did that go through where they all said, yeah, that, that flies, that works? Surely somebody I must have. I don't know if they have that sort of. This is, this is what I was thinking about. You know, sometimes in a startup mode, it's okay to just get a temp come in and say, yeah. like, read our previous tweets Do our socials. and you get, and you get a feel for how we, how we behave online. Mm. Off you go. Mm. Um, that's probably how they, how they've done. I don't know, but it gets to a point where, okay, maybe we should have, well, I think they probably think about it now is like some corporate principles, right? Mm -hmm. So it's like there are lines that we won't cross. Mm -hmm. Even if your messaging is to be slightly rude to people, there are lines you don't cross. You don't make fun of people because of their, surnames yeah, that exactly. color or yeah, whatever yeah 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 um and there are other things i mean they, they've been abused to, to other creators as well i mean I, I know a few creators who tried to work with them and they just couldn't because they were just obnoxious you know mm. for no reason mm. um so yeah i as it turns out i was trying to go in the last three years i've been doing a few bits here and there i think my most viewed short video is a is a deep brand <laughs> skin um 
yeah, so I've been trying to build that bridge as well. So eventually I thought maybe I will become one of the people that they sponsor. Because why, you know, why wouldn't you want that? Mm, you know, there's yeah. a very popular brand. But now it's like, well, I don't know. It's, it's quite hard to to consider that because because they they allowed that, culture. that to happen, and you know, eventually they'll, they'll probably change. And this this the first reaction was, uh, "Here's ten grand, and we'll, you know, can <laughs> are we cool?" And I thought, okay, that just to me that that made, uh, some people thought, okay, at least they owned up and they you know some no. they understand they messed up. But I'm like, that's that's not cool. I mean, I think you need to reach out and, and do a, you know, an yeah, apology to the guy. So if you didn't mean, of course, I don't think they meant it, but it's just like the fact that they left the tweet in there and the, the, the thread became this hate speech mm. thread, you know, mm. it's horrible. Mm. Um, yeah, not, not, not a good look. And I posted something that evening thinking, because I remember, you know, if we, if we rewind our members a little bit to Castify uh, and when they did a, they plagiarized. Off, yeah. yeah they, they ripped off uh, Jerry Rig, everything, Zach, and Deep Brand, right? Mm -hmm. That was a Deep Brand product. And Deep Brand was all over Twitter, and like, you know, our lawyers are on to you and whatever. And the entire tech community, mm -hmm. right, mm -hmm. went crazy. And, you know, Linus, Marquez, everyone taking the mickey out of Casey and saying, because Casey came out and said, we're the bastions of originality. And they picked up on that and it just became a very silly finger pointing again, you know, and, and that wasn't racism. It wasn't, no, it, it was basically just case defy cocking up. Yeah. You know, copy like, any, like any business, you know, it could have happened to anybody. Um, yeah. So they, they, it was a very vicious um, response to that. And I was like, okay, well that evening it's been a few, a whole day mm. of this thread, the entire community going, this is unacceptable, you know, and deeper and not doing anything. Uh, so I posted that, that even saying, you know, <laughs> you guys are the bastions of silence. Uh, and I put Marquez, Linus all together. I think Linus eventually said something like we need to move on or something like that. It was quite dismissive. Um, but I liked Marquez, I think the, the next day saying something like, um, yeah, I won't. I won't be working. I've got with it you here. Until, I, I, I kept the, the tweet to one side for us, so we won't be working with Deep Brand until that original tweet is deleted at least. You're allowed to make shitty jokes, but the internet uh, has made it pretty clear what it thinks about this one, and the harm from it is unnecessary. Mm. And yeah, uh, I, well done. Yeah, uh, I, arguably, you know, that that could have come out <laughs> sooner, but I'm glad he did that because it after that, you know. Deep Brand did do it. And yeah, he, I mean, of course, he's, he's been... got so much power, so much, um, you know, you know, influence. Really yeah, in the I mean, industry. he's been very it's closely associated with them, and you know, mm. all of his Macs always covered in Deep Brand. They have a big That's channel crazy. sponsor. And... He doesn't need another sponsor. No, right. And he... So I, th I, I thought it was good that he did that. And coming from him, he, he, he meant a lot. That and a lot of people calmed down. Deep Brand themselves eventually did another tweet, and you know. Which he predicted in that. Yeah, he did. Yeah, uh, but it's funny that he, he actually swore in that tweet, right? Yeah, I know. I, you never hear him swear. That's exactly yeah. what I was just going to yeah. say. Yeah. And you know, I'm not here to blow smoke up his ass like he needs it from me at all. But there's nothing I've seen about that man that I don't like. <laughs> he just seems yeah. like a class act. Yeah, I, I do have some reservations when it comes to reviews, but I think when you get to that level of strat, when you're interviewing Obama, mm -hmm. you know, or Elon. Kobe Bryant, I, he's like. You know, you can do whatever the hell you want, right? Yeah. Uh, and you earned it. You've been doing this since you were a teenager. Mm. So I think that he does absolutely every respect from, from me. But yeah, I, I do think that the reviews sometimes lack depth. But, you know, he got to that point where he can afford to do that and, and make, you know, the best looking content and, you know, and it's, it's brilliant. That so, follow-on yeah. tweet you were talking about, he, he said no company is untouchable. More importantly, mm. there's a blindingly clear line between a mildly amusing brand personality and racism. Yeah. So, yeah. If you haven't yeah. seen the tweets all out there under D brand, you'll find it quick enough if you're not being part of it. It's a sorry, horrible state because you just think that kind of thing's gone. And I'm sure it wasn't supposed to be racist. I, I don't think that for a moment, but. No, but, you know, and, and I've been there, right? I've been there myself. Yeah, I was, you got thumbnail last year, I, yeah. I didn't mean to, mm. and it was quick. As soon as I put myself in, you know, it, it takes you to kind of, 
a bit of awareness, right? So someone, because I remember, you know, my friend Johannes from Nigeria calling me, saying, "Alex, I know exactly because I know you. What you're trying I know to do exactly what you're trying to do is funny as hell, but Twitter is not going to see that. They don't know you. They they don't. They're not going to see the context. They're not going to read between the lines, which is what you're trying to do. Like, uh, so it took that for me to go, oh crap. But you know, mm. quickly I was like, mm. shit, I've, I know what I've done here. Mm. I can see how this can be perceived. And it, that's oh it. My gosh, I got so much. Like, yeah. But I reached out to every single person who who said something, um, you know, because that was painful, right? Because you've got to mm. reach out to people that you you know are hating. They're like, they want blood. Mm. <laughs> so I, but I reached out to every single one of them, DM'd, sent messages, spoke to a few of them. And, and that was good because they could see then that, no, yeah, there's not that bone in your body. Up. Yeah, and that's what Deep Brand didn't do. Mm. I'm not saying I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm perfect in Deep Brand. I screw up, but but I think no, you could, could read have, the room. They could have gone, guys. Someone like emergency meeting. Someone needs to go there and say something. Mm. Like this is not us. You know, we 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 don't do this. There needs to be a face that actually goes yeah. on and says we made a mistake. We've dropped a ball. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people were in this caught in, in between this this thing of um oh you know everyone's too sensitive now i think well hang on Th that young man had no he, he was just asking for help <laughs> yeah and there was no it was just uncalled for it was almost in a in a group of friends like 12 year olds maybe you could probably say there would be something like you know th those things would be said and it's like oh hell a, with a little bit like very schoolboy. With the surname Lewis, you can imagine when I was five and six, you know, Louis and all that kind of toilet jokes came along. Of course it did. But that, as you say, it's kind of like, that's just, okay, you could say it, but it's not, it's just bands. You're just ripping boys being each together other up and, apart, right? Of it's course. part of growing up. Yeah, but exactly. as a as a brand, mm. like, it's just, it's just, there's no space for that really. And um, yeah. So last couple of things I was going to mention before wrapping, shorts, mm -hmm. they're an odd breed. Now, just before, we were a few minutes late getting starting because you were running around and I just said to you, yeah, I've just knocked out, uh, well, that, I've done that, those, ad, those ad reads I had to do or shorts I had to do. Uh, and then I did two shorts myself. Yeah. And it was like, and because I've got this set up now, I can just sit down, twist the camera, bang on the monitor, bang, 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 and get them all knocked out. But Shorts are a weird old breed, aren't they? I had one this week that just took off to 10,000 views for no reason. It wasn't even particularly good. It was just about Tim Cook selling some shares. <laughs> it was, and it wasn't even new news. I'd read it about four days earlier and thought, yeah, I've got nothing I've, else I to did, report on. Yeah, yeah. It's just, and have you ever been able to predict shares? I can't, shorts, I've not been able to predict them at all. No, and, it, uh, you know, it kind of, shouldn't that be illegal? I don't, I don't know. It's, it's, you must know something, right? Uh, you know, I've made shorts that I'm actually quite pleased about. Uh, and then you think, you know, I've put a bit of work into them. I mean, I'm recording them all now on the Canon, and that definitely makes a difference. Mm. You can see the quality difference. Maybe that helps a bit, and there's all good audio. But it's just suddenly one will take off and the others. Although they've all been reasonably good, because I'm doing about three or four a week, and I've just realized what That's you were talking really about. Good. It's the yeah. reps. The more you keep your channel just moving along with something all yeah. of the time, it works, doesn't it? That's really good. I. I need to do more of that. Um, short, I, yeah. Uh, it's time, but I came in today. I've got three shirts behind me. <laughs> I made a great mistake earlier on. I, I thought, right, I've got those in the can. Then yeah. I looked at them and I thought, my bottom two buttons on the shirt were undone. I thought, no, I can't really record them. I'll redo them again. Or just fill it with B roll. And um, the other thing I was going to mention was um, now I've gone completely blank on what I was going to mention. Oh, yes. Have you ever. You know, we're sort of always encouraged to get involved with the community, put posts mm. up and so on. Have you ever noticed any inflection or extra views if you put up on your community page, oh, this was this week's video? Does, Not always, yeah. I, I obviously, remember, 100K now. You've got a lot of people you should be reaching out to. Yeah, I do because notifications don't always work. They don't, no. Um, so when a video is doing really badly, I, I will do something on community and say, hey, in case you missed it, I know you missed it, <laughs> but... It'd be really cool if you, if you can watch. So you do get a little bit of a bump there, and maybe and once it did happen, uh, I followed it very quickly, and so I can see the bump from the community notes. And it will say, it will show um, channel pages or something, and you know that, that you can see that, that spike. Mm. And then then the algo picked up. Mm. 
but recently it hasn't worked. I've tried it with my, I think it was my iPad video actually, which I don't think it got to 10,000 views yet. Mm. It's close, maybe 9,000. But yeah, that video started really slow and I was like, okay guys, you know, it's a great thumbnail. It's useful content because the iPad is about to launch. But yeah, it just, when there's no interest in the video, there's just no interest. Um, but it does, you know, I, I think it depend on the context and the video and the, mm. the topic, but it's useful because a lot of people will say to me in the community comments, oh, I didn't even know you, you know, I've got the bell turned on, the notifications on and, and I didn't get them. Well, funny enough, either my other half yesterday when I got home late uh, said, have you posted? I said, yeah, I didn't, I didn't get to hear about it. And I said, yeah, it went up at like 6.30 or something, you know, so it just yeah. goes to show it doesn't it's work all the time. how that works. Yeah, I, I don't get notified for, for every single channel. I think it's, it's, YouTube kind of selectively notifies you and also chooses the devices where you get notified on. Sometimes, mm. You know, sometimes I get lots, lots of notifications on my mobile and nothing on my desktop. Mm. Sometimes my my TV at home, the homepage looks very specific to that time of the day as well. And I started to notice that. Yeah. Things, yeah, things are not as yeah, simple my, as they used to be. Like just, my home, you, you said on the last pod that you've noticed the culture of YouTube has changed. The, 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 the videos that you could almost rely upon before of oh, taking yeah, off definitely a hundred percent oh as a, as a wrap change. um what happened with your video that you paid for with youtube where did that yeah end up? well that ended, i think after was it 12 days almost two weeks um youtube reckons i only gained 214 subscribers or something stupid like that i can see and anyone can go and view stats and see that during that time yeah the channel grew like by three thousand oh. subscribers which, you, you paid for interaction didn't you uh, yeah, you, you choose, uh, what's the word they use? Um, in no interaction, it's, it's either views or engagement. Engagement, yeah. sorry, that's engagement. Yeah. So yeah, you do that. Not a single comment. Uh, I posted a, an entire thread on Twitter about what happened. Yeah, but it's basically, be very careful. I don't, well, I would recommend anyone to use it. And it's rampant. When you look at mm. channels with 200, 300,000, 500 millions, they're all doing almost on every single video. They're checking so many other video to be promoted. And you can tell by, you know, there's a very clear steep curve and then a flat line. Mm. And the worst is, is the engagement. He looks horrible because, you know, it's like 20,000 views. views in my case, uh, he ended up with, um, I think three of those was already there. So about 17,000 I gained from the promotion. Um, no, com no extra comments. So it looks like 20,000 views. 20 comments. Yeah. I've, I am very, flag. very like, should I delete that video? Should I leave it on? I, I don't know what to do about it because it just, it doesn't look, it's not a good look. Do you, it was, it's a decent experiment yeah. because I learned a lot. Yeah. Um, other people had different experiences and they, you know, paid uh, a similar amount, got less views and less subs. It really depends on the market you choose as well. So if you choose India, apparently, you get a lot more people subscribing. Mm -hmm. the, one of the excuses I got from someone in Twitter was they hyper subscribe in India. It's like, eh, they should comment. I do have an audience in India. I can mm -hmm. say like about 15% of my audience is from India mm -hmm. and they are lovely. They, they all come in and comment and they, you know, they interact mm -hmm. to get 3000 subs and not a single, single comment. comment. I thought, yeah. well, that's, that's what it feels like. Kind of says it all. They're bots, um, yeah. Yeah. It, it was just interesting. I mean, I know but we they're start official bots. We, yeah, well, exactly. They're YouTube bots. They're Google bots. So they're, yeah. <laughs> they're, they're a different breed of bot. They're all fine. Um, well, I think we got about through everything we needed to get through, actually. I just want to, once again, say thank you to Steve Geeks Corner for taking care of our TikTok. And I know he also has been commenting Legend. on videos recently. Absolutely, so, yeah. And we always forget to mention about if you're listening to it on Apple leave a good review bad reviews not so much <laughs> good reviews and um yeah it's just you know get involved with it and we love doing it as you know so we get together a couple of weeks and it's just if we've got your support as well it makes things all the easier for us so anyway you've got to go and pop some balloons yes yeah, so, and, and let your heads come video. down out the cloud and yeah exactly i'm so happy for you mate i really am it's, thank you it's lovely to be talking to you on the day that it actually turned 100k oh, literally the hour it happened yeah, yeah it was it's, yeah. it's one of those little moments that we've shared together um so you yeah. know Really, nice really happy, proud of you, and you know I've seen the hard work it takes, and it's lovely knowing you and seeing you grow, and you, yeah, 
Appreciate Kudos it. Kudos to you. you. Really enjoyed it, mate. We will be back in a couple of weeks' time with another Minus 16. If there's anything you'd like us to talk about, let us know. But until then, it's been lovely chatting. And Alex, I'll see you in a couple of weeks' time. Cheers. See you soon. Cheers, bye.